Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Chess and welcome back to the Art Survival videos. Now today's video will discuss about chemical or chemistry lab actually, not chemical but chemistry lab. Uh, why do I want to discuss about this? Well, if you haven't noticed already in the big update, uh, in the big update actually, um, currently, uh, which already been about uh two months now almost two months one and a half months or something like that uh chemistry lab is no longer exist uh by that i mean it's no longer available to craft from the crafting tab right as you can see over here um this is just the house this is the water purifier this is the greenhouse this is the brick oven and then this is the wooden house, the well, but there is no thing such as chemistry lab. Not even here, right? Um, we have the smelter, we have the chemical reactor as um, new tools, right? But also, as you can see, there is nowhere to be found for you to craft yourself some chemistry lab. So, yeah. Um, and this actually gives me kind of um, concern about that um why is it that this thing over here the chemistry lab is no longer craftable right uh from the uh crafting tab over here from the schematics basically the schematics are already gone but why does this thing still exist right that's my biggest question also my biggest cons concern at the moment as well why because um I think what happened is that the developers probably forgot to delete this uh, from the uh, game. So, um, I guess I'm just gonna go straight to the point. I think um, in the next update, whatever it is, this thing will be forced disassemble. So, yeah. Um, and yes, it will be very bad, right, for players that already built this in the past and, um, you know, like, it doesn't exist anymore right now, right? There's no schematics to build this. So, yeah, also it kind of makes sense as well because new players that just play the game, they won't have the ability to get this, right? they will not have the privilege to to uh to synthesize any chemistry uh any chemical thing like for instance uh what is it called synthesizing alcohol from moonshine right um if you're end game players if you're old players then you probably have a lot of moonshine right and you probably have a lot of alcohol um because you always synthesize using this chemistry lab right but I kind of want to, I kind of want you to know this that um, since this is no longer available to craft from the crafting schematics, like I said, it just makes sense that the next update this thing will be gone forever, right? So what does that mean? It means that you will be forced to use. Um, do I have that over here? I don't think so. Okay, so where is it? Um, Let's take a look over here in my warehouse. Okay, there we go. This one, right? Uh, this is the chemistry set. Now, every player that doesn't have chemistry lab, currently they all have to use chemistry set. Uh, like it or not, right? They actually have to use this. Uh, because chemical reactor, I believe this only works for advanced stuff. Um, and I don't think you can actually use chemical reactor uh, actually let me take a look over here uh, let's put that over here let's drop now I have chemical reactor right now can I actually synthesize that no right it it needs chemistry set right so I cannot synthesize this because I don't have chemistry set right so you cannot replace chemistry set with chemical reactor um, it means that you are forced forced to use chemistry set right but um, you might ask then, Danny, what is um, the matter with that? Um, isn't that just okay? Uh, why is that a problem? Well, this is the problem because as you can see over here, the thing to recharge this chemistry lab only requires 6 alcohol, 10 sulfuric acid, and 20 clean water as well as uh, generator, I guess. 
um, and then you can get yourself chemistry lab that is functional right and it will have I think one, uh, 200 uses I'm not sure I think I want to try let's actually do 190 and see um, how it goes right will it actually be at 200 something like just under 200 or uh, what the number right uh, let's actually see this first and actually take a look um, at the result right yes this takes a while but I guess it kind of makes uh, it's important to know actually yep just like that now as you can see okay so it only has 200 uses right which is quite a lot if you ask me um, I managed to build myself 50 uh, the reason why is because I like to do stuff um, in bigger batch, right? Because I have 50, it means that I can do 200 times 50, right? Which is 10,000 in one go, right? So I can just refill this uh, later, right? I can just do the job and then refill this later. Um, but now, if this thing is removed uh now i will be forced to use a uh, chemistry set right as you can see over here the uses are not that high if you ask me at durability of 42 percent it only has 21 use right so that's basically uh one use is two percent it means that at 100 percent durability it will be only 50 use right um and you can kind of see already the difference right uh one of these chemistry lab can do 200 but the chemistry set over here can only do 50 right so yeah let's actually put that back in there and let's actually go to the trader um it means that you will have to buy a lot of those right just for stock uh because this no longer exists right now if you want to uh synthesize moonshine to alcohol or anything to alcohol then or build any chemical right you will need chemistry set and where do you get chemistry set well that's good question one of them the easiest way is from trader right over here they actually sells uh here over here they actually sell the chemistry set as you can see over here one chemistry set is priced at 1200 um and it means that you know this only 50 use right now what happened if you want uh four right which is uh 200 use as you can see it uh it now costs you 4800 as well as that the trader only have five in stock it means that you cannot synthesize any more moonshine in bigger pads right it means that you'll actually have to buy this from other traders you know like uh, from other npc right and that's actually bad uh let's actually buy this one right um and see right just to see like to check i think it will be 50 percent right uh yeah let's drop that and uh yep like i said 50 uses right it means that one of this table over here one of this chemistry lab only counts for four uh chemistry set and that's actually a lot the trader only only sells five every single refresh right it means that you will need a lot of that uh, just to make up this 50 right because I have 50 it means that 50 times 4 it means I will need 200 right that's a lot of chemistry set and yeah that's just uh, awful right um, because you can only get these so many of them uh, in such a short period of time right uh, you can only get 5 every refresh, so yeah, like every day you can only get 20, at least only in Chalyabinsk. Maybe you can find that from other NPC, but doing that will need a lot of money, right? And then as you can see, if you use chemi chemistry lab, you can just refill that, right? With uh, sulfuric acid, alcohol, and clean water, right? Which I would say is much more cheaper than buying the actual chemistry set. Not only that, as you can see over here as well... The chemistry set actually will cost you like um, 6,000, right? Which is, I would say, a lot because in the buyer, you can only get 16,000, right? It means that half of them, you use those money to, to buy the chemistry set, which is inefficient, right? It means that if you use the 6,000 to buy that, it means you only have 10,000 left to buy something else, right? Uh, logically speaking like let's say you want to buy a uh, diesel and diesel 
uh, 1 million diesel cost you 30,000 already, right? So, you know, um, basically you will need more money, right, to buy this kind of stuff, which is bad, right? Um, you know, because the chemistry lab actually, uh, it, there is only few of them and it costs a lot, right, just to buy those. And yeah, so that's my concern, right? So I think uh, I'm not uh i don't want to jinx it but again let's be real i think they will eventually remove chemistry lab and that will be bad if you are old players right so before that happens uh what you should do then uh this is actually my advice um first you want to synthesize all of the leftover moonshine that you have over here um let's say you have five thousand right uh well not really if you are old players then you probably have hundreds of thousands of moonshine right uh what i want you to do right now is to uh, synthesize as many as possible that you can and change them like most of them to alcohol right like let's say 80 percent of your moonshine um i want you to transfer or synthesize that into alcohol like right now why because um eventually when this chemistry lab is removed from the game you will be overwhelmed right because you have let's say uh 100 moonshine right um it means that you know you will need 100 000, uh chemistry set uses right and each of them only have 50 it means that to synthesize 100 000 moonshine you will actually need what like 100,000 divided by 10 that's 10,000 divided by 5 that's uh 2000 right you will need 2000 chemistry set just to synthesize moonshine uh 100,000 moonshine right um you know not only that like let's say there's also other players that have for some reason millions of moonshines right um again like if you have those amount i what i want you to do is to synthesize as many as possible that you can as much as possible that you can just synthesize them into alcohol before it's too late before the chemistry lab is removed and you will be uh, very upset right because you have no chemistry lab it means you have to fully rely on chemistry set which again like i said you need 2000 of this just to synthesize 100,000 uh moonshine right and only five per refresh uh, at least in chelyapinsk and that would um you know five per reset it means 20 per day right so 2000 divided by 20 you will need 100 days like literally three months just to synthesize uh 100 000 moonshine so yeah um i guess this is just a little bit of psa uh before that actually happened again like i said this is just for anticipation right i know you have a lot of uh, moonshine if you are old players then what you want to do is use this chemistry lab before it actually removed uh again like i said it's kind of warning um again i'm not sure what's gonna happen in the future but by the looks of things it makes sense because they removed the schematics for chemistry lab you can no longer build chemistry lab from this crafting section over here it means that you actually have to use chemistry set and if that happens then you will be in a lot of trouble right because you don't have chemistry chemistry set probably and it will take a lot of effort just to do that also it will be expensive right uh, and i think what going to happen next is that um the price of alcohol probably will increase right because you need the chemistry set to do that and that actually is kind of expensive so you know producing alcohol from moonshine will be much more expensive that's just my uh calculation my theory my opinion my whatever you want to call that right uh that's just my take on that basically so yeah um again i will repeat uh, chemistry lab still exists right now but it's already been removed from the schematics you can no longer build this and uh, before it's too late i want you to use that like right now because again it may be removed next uh, update i'm not sure right um, also if you think about it there is no reason for them to keep that right 
um, especially in the shop where you again in the current state of the game uh, they kind of want you to buy stuff from the shop right using caps and uh, using real money right so yeah before that actually kicks in I want you to use this um, at the maximum or optimally right but yeah, I think that'll be it for today's video about uh, the art survival, about chemistry lab. Um, after this, I will probably convert all of my moonshine into alcohol because generally I don't really use moonshine myself. Uh, if I want to remove radiation, I usually just drink uh, wine over here, homemade wine, which is 50, right? Moonshine is only 20. Also, it gives blindness, which can... Um, make you miss your shot by 25 percent which is bad right so yeah there you have it um that's just my take on chemistry lab and moonshine in general because again i believe a lot of players actually have millions of moonshine and it'll be a waste it'll be a shame if they don't um convert to alcohol and then the chemistry lab could remove right uh, that would be a shame and that's about it i guess anyway i think that'll be it thank you so much for watching uh stay safe stay healthy i will see you again in the next one until then um yeah i guess there's that um i will see you again very soon and see ya